Alberta students now have a choice, either mask up or ditch it, at least while in school. But the first day of these relaxed restrictions met with both a protest and court challenge. No teachers, no parents, no nothing. This has been our decision. A group of students in Ardrossan organizing an afternoon walkout and through social media getting other schools across Alberta on board. We, we want students to stay in school. It's a healthier learning environment in person. Um, but we, we want masks until it's safe for them to come up. We want decisions based on science and data, not politics. We want to keep our teachers, our school staff members, and our students safe. And from a walkout, bring off masks in schools. Help us stay safe. We deserve it. To a protest at the legislature. Meanwhile, a court case tried to hit pause on the lifting of mandatory masking, an initial injunction denied, supported by the Alberta Federation of Labour, but the main plaintiffs are parents of children with disabilities. The common denominator is that they all have complex medical needs and quite severe disabilities. Some of them can't wear a mask, so that's not really an answer for them. Others are at severe risk of complications if they get sick. Um, and will be effectively ostracized if they're the only ones wearing a mask in their class. The Minister of Education not able to comment on an active court case, but reaffirming her position to let kids be kids, saying they have aimed to balance the risk of COVID-19 to children with the impacts caused by public health restrictions. Such measures can have an adverse effect on physical, mental and social development of children. But lawyers for this case argue not allowing school boards to make their own decisions around masks is removing that freedom for their clients, saying they're being discriminated against. Some cases can't attend school if there is no universal masking. Um, so effectively, they just want the equal right to, ac to access education. They want also to be let to be kids, be kids, be kids, um, as Premier Kenny says. They want that right too. And so we're trying to help. At the beginning of the school year, Edmonton Public surveyed parents, teachers and students, finding over 90% were in favor of masking. But a lot can change in six months of a pandemic, including availability of vaccines for those five and up. And on the EPSB Facebook page, parents saying they're thankful for the right to choose. We will stand up for our education. And while some reporting large Large numbers of students still masked at schools for these students. So few people who are masked, I'd say probably 20 to 30 percent. So it's it was really, really, really nerve wracking. They would feel better if they saw the health data and recommendations to support the decision to take off masks. In our Drawson, Carly Robinson, City News.